Okay, now we're uh, gonna represent fractions <coughs> using a strip diagram. And uh, like I said earlier in third grade, uh, these are the denominators that we use. So we need to go ahead and break our strip diagram, <coughs> diagram into these, uh, these amount of equal spaces. So uh, into two equal parts, into three equal parts, into four equal parts, into six equal parts, and eight equal parts. So when I'm making a strip diagram, I need, I need to make sure my strips are uh, equally spaced by halves, thirds, fourths, sixths, and eighths. So uh, this is how, uh, how I did it. It's very similar how we do the, uh, the number line. You can see I already counted 24 over, so you didn't have to sit here and watch me count, count to 24. Um, but that's 24 over. So my first strip, I'm going to represent, actually I'm going to represent one whole with my first strip. I'm going to use a ruler so it looks a little bit neater. So my first strip is going to represent one whole. Bring it down here. So that represents one hole. So my next strip that I make, I'm going to make it represent halves. So I'm going to just go straight down from that. Say me drawing another line. And if I uh, want to break it in halves, I know there's 24 lines all the way across there. So halfway would be 12. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So this is exactly halfway. There should be twelve more. That looks that looks uh, good to me. So my next one I'm going to do as halves. That's one half, and that's one half. My next one I'm going to do is thirds. And uh, we know that this twenty-four lines is one whole. So if I want to break it into three equal parts. Uh, I'd have to divide 24 by 3, and 24 divided by 3 is 8, because 8 times 3 is 24. So I count over 8 lines, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. That's 1 third. Count over 8 more, that should be 2 thirds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. That's another third, and there should be 8 more lines left there. So next uh, thing I'm going to represent is force. We'll be able to uh, cheat a little bit on our force because since four is an even, even number, I know two force is going to be right there. So uh, 24 divided by 4 is 6. So if I count 6 over, that's going to get me to my first force. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's 1 fourth. That's my second fourth. So I count over 6 more. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. That's my third. I put a half there, didn't I? That's my third fourth, and this is my fourth fourth, which gets me to one whole. Okay, next thing I'm going to represent are sixth. So I'm breaking it six equal parts. And since we already divided 24 by 4 and figured out it's six, that means 24, uh, uh, 24 divided by 6 would be 4. And 6 is an even number, so there's going to be one of them is going to be equivalent to a half, so I'm going to kind of cheat and draw that line right there. But I'll go ahead and count over four to get to my first six. That's one, two, three, four. That's one sixth. One, two, three, four. That's my second sixth. I have my third six there already because we said three six is equal to one half. One, two, three, four. My fourth my fourth, sixth. One, two, three, four. That's my fifth, six, and my last six right there, which is six, six equals one whole. And the last fraction I'm going to represent with a strip diagram are eighths. Do my ruler get a straight line here? And we knew that. Uh, well, first off, eight's an even number, so. There's going to be one that's going to be equal to, equal to half. And we already said that uh, 
24 divided by 3 is 8, so 24 divided by 8 would be 3. So 3, that's 1 8. 1, 2, 3. That's an eighth. One, two, three. That's an eighth. There's another eighth, my fourth eighth right there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that's my eighth eighth right there, which equals one whole. So, you know, typically on, uh, with strip diagrams, we shade in uh, what part we're representing. So if I want to represent two-thirds, I would uh, go to my denominator three, and I would shade in all the way, all my, all that right there. A little bit neater there. Okay. Or say if I want to uh, represent four-sixths. I go my sixth line, I count over four of them. One, two, three, four. And I shade in four of the sixth. That would represent four sixths. And right there with that, you can see we'll use this later on when we start comparing fractions. And we can see that two thirds is equal to. One six. I'll write this down at the bottom. It's not really today's lesson, but two thirds numerator denominator is equal to four sixth numerator four denominator six, and that's your lesson for representing fractions using a strip diagram.